Dr. D. Michael Kolvard, the founder of Friends of Vision, has worked as a volunteer eye surgeon in Africa for over 25 years. Over the past 15 years, he has returned annually to one particular remote and underserved region of northern Namibia near the Angolan border. During his visits, Dr. Kolvard became aware of the desperate conditions at one of the local schools in a region near the town of Oshakati. The Oshakati school shoulders the burden of caring for hundreds of poor and vulnerable children, many of them orphaned by the AIDS epidemic. Lacking even the most basic educational supplies and facilities, the school's dedicated principal and teachers struggle to provide an education of quality for the children, many of whom arrive each day malnourished and hungry. Each year, Dr. Kolvard returns to Oshikati to help provide eye care to the many hundreds of blind patients in the region. Advanced cataracts are the most common cause of blindness throughout Africa. The patients selected for surgery are led by their friends and family members to the hospital. Preoperative measurements are taken. Then Dr. Kolvard re-examines the patients preoperatively. Patients are provided with sleeping pallets. Men and women are housed in separate parts of the hospital. On the morning of their surgery, patients are given local anesthesia by trained technicians. Dr. Kolvard and Dr. Helena Ndume, director of the Namibian Blindness Prevention Project, prepare for surgery. Nicholas Hall, a local Peace Corps volunteer, assists in the transportation of the patients. Dr. Kolvard examines the eye once more prior to surgery. Then Dr. Kolvard performs the surgery. Most procedures take no more than 15 minutes. Dr. Ndume, a longtime friend and colleague, works in the adjacent operating room. Dr. Kolvard walks with each patient to the recovery area as the OR is being prepared for the next patient. Here Dr. Kolvard takes a quick break with one of the scrub techs during the long day. The next morning when the patches are removed is a time of celebration. Many of the patients have been blind for a decade or more. Here are some happy patients who arrived walking on the arms of friends or family members, beginning their trip home walking unassisted. After completing surgery of all the scheduled patients, Dr. Kolvard visits with his friends at the school in Oshikati. Guava trees are wonderfully productive in this climate and provide the children with a food that is both delicious and nourishing. Local farmers have provided the school farm with a young cow who will provide milk and hopefully more cows in the coming years. Ladies from the neighborhood help to prepare millet porridge for the children. This child's face says everything there is to say. Nicholas Hall, a Peace Corps volunteer from Virginia, has worked at the school for the past two years. Nicholas has been instrumental in creating a new library at the school. Many of the books were purchased with the funds from Friends of Vision. This young learner does double duty, taking care of his sister while attending school. The library is the favorite place for all the children. The books are great, and it is also the only room in the school with air conditioning. Peter. A volunteer optometrist from Germany examines all the children and provides glasses for those in need. Here Dr. Kolvard greets all the children in the newly constructed gathering hall. This structure was built in part by donations from our patrons at Friends of Vision. This student council member presents Dr. Kolvard with an atlas of Namibia as thanks for his help to her school. Here Dr. Kolvard listens as one of the students reads a letter of thanks from the student body. I would like to thank Dr. Kolvard for his continued support towards our school. The donations you have made over the years have really brought a lot of development at our school. Like now we are proud to have a school hall. Thanks for your kind help. We are very grateful for what you have done for us. May God bless you. <laughs> Students at Calvary Christian School in Pacific Palisades handmade over 700 friendship bracelets as gifts for the children in Oshikati. Dr. Kolvard and Mr. Dominicus Elado, principal of the school, hold a poster showing pictures of the new friends from California. 
Nicholas managed to prevent chaos by lining all the children in a single line to receive their bracelet, as well as school supplies donated by the teachers at Calvary Christian School. And the only way you can realize those dreams is through education and your own hard work. Our job is grown up to give you that education. So we can have a nation where every child can rise to its highest level and make the greatest contribution. The friendship bracelets were a phenomenal hit with all the children. Anna Noguchi, a Peace Corps volunteer, spends time with some very happy children. In the sweet faces of these young people, one can see the hopes and dreams of all children. Our goal over the next year is to increase the productivity of the garden to provide at least two meals five days a week. Food from our garden not only nourishes the children today, it helps to give them a future. If the children have confidence that they can go to school and be fed every day, they are far more likely to stay in school and make a better life for themselves. With all of us working together, we can help these children to learn, to become more successful and capable adults, to build a stronger, more caring community, and to realize their dreams. The Friends of Vision is a nonprofit organization founded by Dr. Colvard, dedicated both to the goal of helping to reduce reversible blindness worldwide and of providing help to the school children in this region. Over the past five years, through your support, we have provided educational books and supplies, assisted in the construction of a major building where the children can study and be protected from the elements during the heavy rains of the summer months, and importantly, we have created a sustainable garden to help feed the children. Our goals this year are to continue to provide badly needed educational supplies, to complete construction of the Great Hall, and to hire an experienced agricultural superintendent who can oversee the operations of the small farm and increase its production and efficiency. With your continued support, we can realize these goals and help to create a safer and more nurturing environment for these young people. These children are the future of Namibia, and through our support, we can help these children to be prepared to lead and work in the coming years to build a stronger, more caring community in Oshakati. <laughs> <laughs>